I've seen you gentlemen walking in the neighborhood for uh, many years. And who are you and what's your routine? Uh, my name is John Manola. And I am William Talero, and I met John 40 years ago when I was teaching at the School for the Blind in Jersey City. And he was a chaplain of a group of uh, blind people who used to kind of be foster grandparents to some of the blind youngsters. And then I met him again uh, nine years ago when I went to a concert in Philadelphia. And we joined forces and we moved here to Chestnut Hill. And we tried to walk as much as we can and live a healthy life. That's, that's incredible. Now, what um, are you visually impaired? I am totally blind, yes. You are? Yes, I lost my, my vision as a result. I used to have partial vision, but eight years ago, I became totally blind because glaucoma took the last bit of sight that I had. So living with John has been very beneficial to me because he's an honest person and he happens to like to walk and I, I always enjoy walking. Before I was totally blind, I used to walk all over the Wissahickon and also I did a little bit of the Appalachian uh, Trail. Excellent. And you don't believe it, but this gentleman next month is going to be 93. 93. I am 92 now, I'll be 93 in December. Yes. Excellent. And um, I noticed you wear shades also, but... That's just for, uh, my eyes are sensitive to light and there's nothing wrong with my eyesight. He has uh, very good sight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. You were talking about using your other senses. Oh, well, you know, there is a great opportunity to use the other senses when you walk down on the avenue because the baker is the dry cleaning the flower shop and of course the sounds are certainly very much in evidence. I, rem I remember many years ago when they used to have the trolley and that was always a kind of a nice quaint sound that you always uh, related to Philadelphia. I kind of miss that 23 trolley, you know? <laughs> What about the coffee and the garlic? Yes, the coffee and all the garlic and all the uh, wonderful smells of the various restaurants, uh, which not as many as they used to be. What, re what restaurants do you recognize by smell? Uh, I definitely know when I'm getting close to the Japanese restaurant and the Chinese uh, French place, the uh, What's the name of that? Sin Sin? Chin Chin. Uh -huh. The Chin Chin. And uh, on this side, uh, of course, the hotel. Uh, uh, you know, we like to go to Rollers. Uh, it's, it's always it's very friendly. Uh, you always have a good meal. 